This means traveling through the Bohemian forest. It is beset with werewolves, mortal enemies of our kind. Few canines survive the road. There will be no trouble with the moon beasts while I am near. My clan has made peace with these creatures. We will have safe passage through the forest. Very well. Let us leave by the east gate.
Here be my wares. your search, troubled child. Have you...
This must be the house of Count Orsi, the slave master. All the fops, bootlicks, and toadies in Vienna are here assembled. We are looking for a Ventru named Orsi. Canst thou tell us where we may find him? Come to his mansion in the Western Ringstrasse. Tonight there is a feast in honor of the new solstice. Here's an invitation on the finest virgin skin parchment. I like not this talk of the skin of virgins. <laughs> Another Tremir. Nay, he is mortal. I can smell it. Aye, not Tremir, but a mortal mage of the Order that splintered into the Tremir. He may be useful. Hail to thee, mage. I am Kristoff of Clan Bruja. Hail to thee. I am Orvis, mage of the Hermetic Order. Godspeed thee.
They are magically sealed. We must find a way to enter through the barrier. Welcome, K Knights. I see thou hast met my children. This is Kazi, Teta, and Zig, the most beautiful daughters of Cain thou shalt ever meet. <laughs> Unfortunately, Teta and Zig lost the ability to speak during their <laughs> mortal lives. I found them in servitude to a rather harsh master that saw to it to remove their tongues. <laughs> he was dealt with in a fitting fashion, eh, say my darlings? <laughs> Don't worry. Kazi is happy to speak for the three of them now. We come seeking Bruja taken as slaves from Prague, a mortal woman among them. Slaves? Oh, yes. The slave business has been so very delicious. Duke Leopold needed a force to beat back the Semitze, and the Lord, the Tremere appeared as if by divine providence. <laughs> The Tremere and Zemitsi battle each other with surpassing fury. And I, humble Ventru that I am, I profit from the selling of slaves to both clans. <laughs> the Duke and I shall ensure that the Tremere win the war, but only after I have collected much treasure from the carnage. Then shall we destroy the wounded Tremere as punishment. Blasphemy they committed upon the antediluvian salute. Tell us of the October shipment from Prague. <laughs> Does thou think me a fool? That I will give away that which thou wilt purchase? <laughs> Presumptuous bumpkin, shouldst thou wish to know of thy allies, thou shalt perform a mission for me. <laughs> Or we shall slice thy head halfway off thy neck. Then shalt thou beg to tell of our allies. <laughs> the Duke himself protecteth my haven. Attack me, and thou shalt suffer the most grievous retribution. And thou shalt never find thy wayward slaves. Now, <laughs> enough of such talk. It is business that we have to discuss, no more. Come, come to my study, where we may discuss this further. <laughs> Mayhap thou shalt find some delicious morsels to refresh thee. Mm -hmm. Pray, sup with me. I trust that thou wilt find these hors d'oeuvres to thy liking. If they are not pleasing to the taste, we shall have them flogged. <laughs> State thy business, Orsi. Well, I can see thou hast no courtly manners in the bumpkin. Listen well. 
the Tremere have clapped their slaves away in the Tremere Chantry, thy house de Hexe, the most protected heaven in Vienna. So do not think to try to kill me to gain them. They are quite beyond my power. Only Duke Leopold could convince the Tremere to give up their slaves. The Duke is responsible for allowing the Tremere to lodge in Vienna. So the Tremere do his bidding. Assist my ally, the Duke, and he will owe thee a boon. Hm? What does the Duke wish? The end to the reign of the pestilential vampire priest Luther Black. Years ago, Luther was but a mortal priest of Stephenston Church. A wayward La Sombra sought to rule Vienna by controlling the church and dared to embrace Luther. We sent the sire to hell. <laughs> but Luther locked himself away from the outside world. He hath retained a pitiable hold on the faith he had in life and sleeps by day upon a cross of pure silver. <laughs> Quite uncomfortable, I assume, but he fancies himself a martyr. The Duke has been unable to remove this blasphemous member of the Shadow Clan, since Luther is ensconced within a ring of holy ground. Then how do we find him? Better to ask how to bind him. <laughs> Thou cannot destroy him. The priest has strange powers beyond thy ken. But thou can restrain him. <laughs> Here are chains even Luther Black cannot break. I am a master of metalwork, and I have forged these shackles from a new, unbreakable alloy. Thou mayst find them useful and more reliable than the <laughs> magics in thy blood. Destroy Luther Black and the Duke will retrieve thy slaves. Hmm. Mm, not to my liking, I'm afraid. I prefer blood of a nobler sort. It is my only vice. <laughs> Enough of this dainty preening and strutting. How do we reach the La Sombra? Refinement is wasted on lumbering brutes such as thee. There will come a time when boorish churls are put in their place. <laughs> Thou shalt find a concealed entrance to the church. Behind our famous astrological clock in the inner strat is a hidden passage. Enter by night and wait inside for daylight, and thou may steal into the inner haven undetected. <laughs> we shall undertake thy mission. Good. Now get the hands. <laughs> So, Christoph has not yet perished at the hands of the vampire priest. <laughs> the deadly nature of thy mission inflames my sister Tata, and my sister Zil entreats me tell thee that she too is filled with lust for thee. She cannot resist the charms of an immortal so close to death's door. <laughs> so, Christoph has not yet perished at the hands of the vampire priest. <laughs> the deadly nature of thy mission in...